Hey everyone, Dave from DVE Store here, and today I'm going to talk to you about some Electrosonics wireless, specifically the L series. Now, the L series wireless from Electro is a digital hybrid system. So, what this does is it combines 24 bit digital audio with an analog FM radio link, and this helps overcome channel noise. Okay, so it's not using a compander that analog systems use. A compander stands for compression expander. It doesn't do that. It uses linear prediction and basically it's a bunch of fancy DSP that uses the magic of people that went to school way longer than I did to figure out how to get around having to use a compander, which means that they don't have the artifacts that a compander and a regular analog system gives you. The L series wireless are compatible with earlier electro transmitters and it's also compatible with some Sennheiser, some Shure and Audio Limited and that's really, really handy. If we look at the outside of these things, we see that they're made from machined aluminum. These things are really, really tough. And the LR, which is the receiver, is a true diversity receiver. It has two antennas on it that are connected via SMA, which is nice because they're removable in case something happens to one, you need to replace it. Or if you're using a bag and you want to use RF distribution, instead of having a bunch of whips, you can do it. The LT transmitter also has a removable antenna. On the LMB, which is the lower cost transmitter, it's fixed. They all have an external power button, menu button, and different selector buttons that are all membrane style that are really nice and comfortable to use. The, the L series transmitters and receivers have nice, easily readable LCD screen. That's really important, especially when you're outside. They all come with the belt clip. So the LR and the LT have a USB port. Uh, this is for firmware updates. Uh, all of these units, the LMB, LT, and LR, they have an IR port, which we'll get into what that's for later. The transmitter has a TA5 input, TA5M, and the output on the receiver is a TA3, which is very nice. One really cool thing that I like is the RF link LED on the receiver. And that it's it makes it really obvious that, yes, you are getting good RF, you're getting a good signal from your transmitter. And it also has a battery life indicator, both on the both on the transmitter and the receiver. Now, what kind of sets these things apart? These can tune across a 75 megahertz frequency range. And if you look at their website and you look at the information on these, there's there's three different ranges, tuning ranges, A1, B1, and C1. And on their website, it shows you exactly what frequencies those are. And that's that's kind of nice. With, within each one of those frequency ranges, you have 3,072 selectable frequencies. That's a lot. And you can tune between those in either 25 or 100 kilohertz steps. The receiver scans frequencies, and this is a feature that we see on lots of wireless systems, and we're, we're kind of used to seeing it now. So it does that, but another thing that it can do is it can go, hey, I found a really cool, a really nice, clear, frequency here and there's nobody stepping on it you want to select that one and you say yeah sure go ahead LR thank you very much and then it does it and then this is where the IR ports come in so you hold the IR port from the transmitter up to the one on the receiver and you hit sync and they do their magic and then your transmitter frequency is already set to the one on the receiver this is a good thing the system uses what's called smart NR, which stands for smart noise reduction. And what this does is it attenuates portions of the audio signal that fit a statistical profile for the randomness of electronic hiss. This is a fancy way of saying the DSP in this thing can basically figure out, okay, there's self noise here or there's noise, you know, the, 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 the mic might be a little noisy. I'm going to figure out what that is and I'm going to eliminate it. If you rolled off above a certain frequency, but you have a voice up in that frequency, you would affect that. But that's not what S Smart NR does. Smart NR only affects the actual noise, and it doesn't affect like if you have voice in that frequency range as well. That's really cool. Now, the transmitter has selectable power output. What does this mean? It basically means that you can select how far your range is going to be. This is only on the LT, not on the LMB. The LT, you can switch between 50 milliwatt and 100 milliwatt. And that's the more, the higher that number, the further your range is. The LMB, it's fixed at 50 milliwatt, which is still 
really good and outperforms some other systems that are out there. The receiver output level on the LR is adjustable between mic level and line level, which is really handy depending on where you're sending the signal to. These are great for film work, TV production work, for uh, doing wireless instruments like guitar and bass. It has an in instrument input setting on the LT, so that eliminates the need for a special cable, and that's really cool. So that's a quick overview on the L series wireless. So this has been Dave with DVE Store. You can reach me at davef at dvestore.com.